Hey guys, welcome to a misty day in Fullerton, California. Got a very cool project coming up. What if a really cool customer of yours entrusted you with his forever amp? And he said, do whatever you gotta do to make it last forever. Treat it like it's yours. Now imagine you're an engineer or a super proficient tech. What would you do? Well, let's find out. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Goons and Mutant Chain, you in particular. Um, that, that forever amp I was referencing prior this is it. And for me, and maybe even for most of you, unbeknownst to you, most of you, this is Fender's finest modern amp. And it's a reissue of the old uh, Princeton Reverb, the 65. Except this one has, uh, for me, the best of the Deluxe Reverb, or Deluxe Reverb, sorry. Um, and the Princeton combined. It, it, for me, it takes the shortcomings of the, the Princeton, which, which are some of the phase inverter artifacts, once driven, uh, and uh, maybe some of the missing or um, uncontrolled bass fr frequencies. Um, and it, 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 it sort of takes all that away. It smooths it out by adding a 12-inch Jensen Alnico speaker. And for me, this is as good as it gets for modern Fender. This is as good as it gets. Um, but still, uh, the amp has some uh, shortcomings, which, which have been gone over ad nauseum. It's just been beaten to death. Um, but, but maybe I can take a little bit of a different approach. Uh, the owner, Shane, um, approached me and said, if this was your amp, what would you do to it? And I want you to treat this amp like it's yours. Well, I, I always do that. Um, regardless of uh, the sentimental value or actual uh, monetary value of, of someone's amp, I treat it like it's mine. Um, and in this case, when I'm given such broad latitude and, and basically an empty sl uh, blank slate, um, I'm, I'm looking at what can I do to maybe enhance what's there and then uh, work on the obvious uh, deficit, which would be longevity so that's going to be uh, the approach that we take on this little series here um, i think what i'll do is uh, i'll print up uh, some schematics and layouts and then i'll annotate them and then we'll go through it together you guys have been asking for longer videos so you're gonna get it i guess and we'll do a, a obviously we'll do a as is condition video I'm not fixing anything. It's it's perfectly functional. There's there's nothing wrong with the amp per se. But then at the end, um, during a wrap up, we'll just give it another little play, and you'll have to suffer through my <laughs> my finger um, interfering with that. So we'll get that going. Uh, we're sitting at Saturday, so we'll figure early Monday morning, um, maybe Tuesday at the very latest, we'll start getting some of this content up. So that'll give me some time to prepare. And in the meantime, let me uh, rotate this thing and then give you a, a view of the goods on the rear end. Bye. Now these are known as uh, the limited edition uh, Fender amps, but other guys will know them as the FSRs. And that's, that's what I refer to it as. This is a great speaker. I think this is a P12Q. I, I could be mistaken, but I'll... Oh, yeah, there's a code there. I can't really read it. I'm going to have to do some digging here. It is an Italian-made Jensen, but that doesn't prevent this thing from just sounding spectacular. So I'll cobble together a list of things that need to go and maybe some light modifications for tonality's sake and really take advantage of having this larger speaker, but we want to keep it sweet 
and we want to keep the soul of it intact. And maybe we want to take advantage of this external speaker jack, which the owner's not going to use. You're not going to use that thing, Shane, you were telling me. So we'll get this thing going. I hope you guys have a great weekend in the meantime.